Hello everyone, in today's video we will see how transform and edit tools work. They are located right under selection tools. Now, let's start with with transform tools. We have four type of transform tools. Basic, Anchor, Distort, and Warp Tool. In Basic Transformation, you can change the size, position, and rotation of the layer. Next, we have Anchor Tool. In Anchor Tool, we transform the layer around an anchor point. By default, the anchor point is centered, but you can move the anchor. Now we have Distort Tool, which helps you manipulate the layer. You can manipulate the edges which will help you change the perspective of the layer. Lastly, we have Warp Tool that will manipulate the shape of the layer. You can pick any point on the grid to manipulate shape. It can pinch, stretch, or bump with the point you picked. Transform tools work similarly on the object as they work on the layer. You can transform the object either by selection or by selecting an isolated object layer. You can apply Basic Tool, Anchor Tool, Distort Tool, or Warp Tool. You can move, rotate, change perspective, or change shape. Transform tools also have some basic functions that are located on top center of your screen. They are always available when you select any of the transform tools. You get the option to flip, rotate, and duplicate. Next part of the video consists of Edit Tools. They are located right under the Transform Tools. Here we have Color, Filter, Curve, Liquify. In Color Tool, we can make color adjustment to the layer. Here we can adjust Brightness, Contrast, Exposure, Gamma, Saturation, Vibrance, Temperature, Tint, and Hue. We can adjust the color with the help of the slider. It controls the amount of adjustment. We will use Saturation and Hue as an example. The only thing I don't like about this tool is that you have to go really high up on the slider to see a significant change. You also have mask options for layer adjustments. Next, we have filters. There are a lot of different kinds of filters available. You get photographic filters, structural filters, artistic filters, and motion filters. Each filter has a distinct effect on the layer. Again, you can adjust the amount of filter with the help of a slider. Here too, you get mask options to mask off things you don't want the filter to affect. Now we have Curve Tool, which will color grade the desired layer. You get the options to grade color. You can adjust shadows with gamma. Then you have red, blue and green curve, which adjusts the amount of red, green and blue. Finally, you have Alpha Curve, which will adjust the background. Lastly, we have Liquify Tool, which helps you blend your colors in artistic patterns. Here you have Move Pinch, Bloat, Swirl Clockwise, and Anti-Clockwise. You can also restore a liquefied area. You can change the size of the pen to decrease or increase the affected area. Again, like you saw in the first part of the video, you can use all the tool on an object as you did on the layer. That's it for this video, see you again in the next video.